Hello and Happy New Year. Uh, new year, new beginnings, fresh start. I wanted to come to you today to talk about starting the journey to have a clutter-free 2016 and beyond. Um, because whether we believe it or not, our stuff communicates to us every time we look at it. It could talk about, communicate our mistakes, our mismanagement, even our misalignment, and, and that's in regards to relationships that have passed and we need to let go of the stuff that was associated with that relationship. And let me give you a few examples. For example, mistakes. Years ago, when I first went away to college, now mind you, I was always in the top 10% of my class. But when I went away to college, I failed, I flunked. I got kicked out because of my grades. So every time I saw that transcript, it was saying failure, even though now I know that's not true. And I finally let it go because I realized that I'm not a failure. I realized that, of course, at this age, if I really need that transcript, I can always get a copy of it. Then there's the mismanagement. And that could have been a time in your life where for whatever reason, you weren't able to pay your bills on time. Well, you still have got that old debt hanging around. You need to shred it. You need to let go of it because it still communicates with you. It still talks to you every time you look at it. And then a lot of times it's the things that bring up really bad memories. For me, it was all of the medical paperwork associated with my mother. For about a year and a half, she went through cancer treatment after that year and a half she passed away. So all of those documents of every reaction she had, everything they did to her, every operation and procedures, that every time I saw that paperwork, I thought I, I went right back to the time, thank you for the hearts, to the time when she was sick. So... I'm hoping in this new year that you will begin to look at the paperwork, but also the stuff. I had a dollhouse, which of course my mom gave me and, and it was wonderful. And I held on to it and we hold on to stuff because we're holding on either to a memory or a hope or a belief. So I held on to that dollhouse because I was going to get married and I was going to have a daughter. I didn't get married, didn't have any kids. Okay. I'm still holding on to the dollhouse. Finally, it was like, I need to release it. I need to release that dollhouse and let somebody who will really appreciate it and enjoy it, because I appreciate it and enjoyed it when I played with it as a child. But then, of course, there's times when we have people in our lives who have passed away. And when my mom passed away, of course, I couldn't wear shows, clothes, excuse me. So I got rid of those. But sometimes we hold on to all of those things thinking we're holding on to the people and therefore we're blocking anything else from coming into our life. So we have a new year, 365 days. We have 52 weeks. So I'm hoping on this journey, you don't have to do everything. You don't have to get rid of everything, trust me, because I still have my mother's jewelry box. And I still have these yellow gloves, which I cannot wear, that go all the way up to my elbows. But just get rid of the stuff that's blocking you from being who you are supposed to be. That's blocking you from living and enjoying and, and just freely relaxing and embracing all that you are purposed to be here on earth. Because I know how you feel. You come home. You see the stuff, you get stressed. You go to work, you see the stuff on your desk, you get stressed. Well, let's get rid of this. Let's just let it go. So, and it's about just doing little things. You know, yes, I'm an organizer. I go in and I tackle all of it. But today, I want you to think of just something, one little thing that you want to get rid of. And for me, it's this, it's this polish. Now, when I bought this polish, I bought it because of the color. I love red. But when I got home, I didn't realize this was the kind of decorative polish where if I wanted to put hearts and all that kind of cute stuff on my fingernails. And I don't want to do that. I'd rather pay somebody to do it. I'll do my nails, but when it comes to intricate work like that, I leave it to the professionals. This has been in my 
medicine cabinet for a year. So it's going. It's going in the trash. And today, as you relax in this new year, this new season, this fresh beginning, think of some things you want to do different. And I'm going to share a few with you. One thing I'm going to do differently is that I saw a tip, which I posted it on Twitter and my other social media, where you turn your hangers in the opposite direction. All of the hangers in your closet. As you wear an item, you put it in the correct direction. So at the end of the year, you'll realize what you are actually wearing. Because 80% of the stuff we keep, we never reference again. And we wear 20% of our clothes 80% of the time. So I said, you know what? And as I was doing that, and you can go on Twitter or you can go on my Instagram page and you can see my class. I turned all my hangers around. And slowly but surely by the end of the year, and I already know now some of the stuff that I'm probably going to have to get rid of. But I really wanted to see it openly and uh, like, this is honestly, Janet, you need to get rid of this because you haven't worn it in two or three years. I'm good at telling other people that, but now it's like, you know, my closet's nice and organized, but I know it's time for me to clean stuff out. So that's one thing I'm doing. Uh, another thing that I'm doing is... Uh, I am reading a book, 20 Day Financial Fast. So I'm doing that as well because I want to better manage my money because I want to be able to leave a legacy to my godchildren. And the third thing I'm doing is, and I saw a friend, she posted it on Facebook and it was all these little sheets of paper covered on her bed. She had a grateful jar. So every single day, I'm going to write something on a piece of paper that I am grateful for. So... Um, I hope you enjoyed this segment. And as we go on this journey, I've got some wonderful things. The next segment I'm going to do um, is I'm going to really talk to you a little bit about why we hold on to stuff. Because I know if you can see my little t-shirt, got clutter. Um, so why we hold on to stuff. So I want you to have an awesome, awesome new year. Embrace this day. Do something wonderful and joyous. But most of all, get rid of something, just one thing, just one little thing that you touch today that you know you can get rid of. It could be the red newspapers. It could be the catalogs from Christmas 2015, but whatever, just, just do something. So until next time, I want you to have a clutter-free day and Happy New Year. <laughs>